Hey, what's going on, you guys? Like, well, you guys said, Shannon, she wore a big dive back with another one take review. Today, I got one for Umbrella Academy season two. Just knocked this out. It's what's, what's today? It's Saturday for me. I know this came out yesterday. Well, technically, I don't even know when this video is going up. But this came out Friday. I was busy Friday. I get home to late. So, I just got the chance to, to binge it today. I took the day out and uh, binged it. Enjoyed it. Thoroughly, I actually might say I think I enjoyed this season more than the first. Even though I really liked the first, I think this one was a little better to me. And I know it might be just, I'm just coming off of it. So I don't know, maybe I'm riding this like high or this like, because I literally just finished watching it like 30 minutes ago. You know what I'm saying? So everything's still a little fresh. And, but I really think I enjoyed what they did with all the characters this season. All the new characters that was introduced. I think I really enjoyed them, especially the addition of Lila. I, th I think... Really, really dug that character. Um, one thing, and and I'll eventually get into spoilers, but I will let you guys know before I start talking spoilers about this season. But right now, I'm just giving my best. Like it's an overall view, my over overall review. Yeah, my overall review of like the season just as a whole. Um, really like what they like. This has one of the. It uses music very well, okay? The soundtrack in this season were great. It was great. I, I don't think it necessarily had this scene like the one in season one, you know, everybody just, that scene where everybody's just dancing out. Don't necessarily think they have that, but they do have one when they use a Backstreet, Backstreet Boy song, and I thought it was fantastic, okay? It was perfect timing, and I was just like, this is insane, but it's, it's so good, and it's just wacky, and it's just crazy. Also, it like connected connected a lot of dots. Also opened the world up quite a bit. It did some things I was kind of hoping that they did because like the very first episode of the show basically, well not, not even, I'm not even talking about just of this season, but the very first episode of the show, first five, 10 minutes, like let you know something. And I feel like they never actually played with that in season one, season two, it gets into that, and so now I feel like season three, if they do a season four, it's going to get even crazier, or a little wilder, and I think basically where this season ends off, and I think the end is really great, it it, it opens things up completely, and you, you have, you have a kind of idea of where they're going, but you don't know necessarily, and I, I think I, that was one of the things I really enjoyed. Um, like I said, I enjoyed all the new characters. This season, pretty much, they all get transported back in time. This is not sports, this is basically a synopsis. Um, where I'll get transported back in time into like 1960 through like 1963 in Dallas, Texas, which is like right up the street for me, actually. Well, right up the street, meaning four hours away. But yeah, so it's like they transported to Dallas and it is the 60s, so it's the South. So, you know what I'm saying? Things weren't pleasant for, uh, Allison and Vanya's character because what well, Klaus characters he probably shouldn't he probably shouldn't fit in he definitely doesn't but he did already did some stuff Klaus has got a cup uh, and I think I, I think everybody's seen that number five is out looking for everybody it's just a whole bunch of things going on with everybody but the family it's all about them getting back together. People, it's, it's, it's like that slow build to them joining, and you don't know what's going to happen because you know what's the you you know the end of season one where like Vanya basically just destroyed the world, so you don't know what's the deal with her and like how they going what are they trying to what are they trying to do to her like you don't know anything, but I think the execution from episode one of this all the way to episode ten I thought was magnificent, magnificent. So, if you guys are looking for a suggestion as to watch it, yes, I thought it was really good. Like I said, I think I actually enjoyed this season more than the first one. But now I'm going to get, I'm going to get into spoiler territory. So, if you have not seen the show, this is probably where you exit. I will not go into detail on every single thing that happened, but I'll just basically get, hit like a couple points that I think that stuck out to me. One, the fact that they go back and find, oh, well, yeah, I'm definitely in the spoiler territory. They go back to finding their father who they think is has a hand in killing Kennedy when we actually find out he was trying to prevent it. That was one thing. We actually find out their father is an alien. 
That is crazy. It's like, we, what are they going to do with that? What are they possibly going to do with that? Okay. That, that, that. Come on, man. Like, that, that, that has to be something. Um, uh, 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 oh, my God. The, the handler taking over and, and, like, her whole ploy to take over. But, like, it's... I, guess, I think I really, really dug Lila, man. I liked her and Diego's connection, the way those two, they, they had great chemistry all throughout. And then for us to find out that she was one of the 43 kids that was born on the same day as them was a excellent way. To, and like her power is basically she can just take what somebody else is done. Straight. Of course. Of course. Because I was wondering when she was first, when she fought, first fought uh, number five, you didn't know how she was getting away from like maybe she's just like him but i'm like but i never thought that she was one of them i thought she maybe just stole her a bit of it and technically she does but like it's just so much the stuff with klaus and the cult i thought that was funny but i think the more interesting part was the stuff that was happening with ben which was really good and the fact that he got in klaus's body and like klaus was trying to go save that i all of that was great. Allison, black lady, in the 60s, not the best time for us. And when has it ever been the black, best time for us? But nonetheless, she's back there and, she, and, she, and she's married. How did that affect Luther? He's working for some mafia guy. And he gets sad when he realizes she's married. And like, the guy she's married to Wondering how the hell she does what she does. She convinced the cop. She made the guy pour the, uh, the like the racism stuff. It's like okay, I, I'm seeing it a lot in a lot a lot of these shows that we I've, I've been watching. Like you see it here, and you know you see it in you saw it in Watchmen, which was which was great. I think it's being executed perfectly. You know what I'm saying? It's just like damn, like whew. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you just be like okay, but granted. I think I, I I enjoy it because like other people actually get to see like yeah okay this is this is what it's like you think it's that much different now you, you I'm sorry you you a fool um, people just saying it's bold or, or they are bold in different ways now um, Vanya now listen there's one thing about the whole Vanya storyline why I did enjoy it I don't necessarily I think that's the one that didn't just quite land for me. Because I think they was exploring her sexuality, which is cool. I, I, I'm like, that's that, that whole part is cool. I didn't quite understand the storyline with the kid. Like what? Maybe that's gonna be more next season. But I didn't quite get that. You know what I'm saying? That that didn't land for me. Also, if I'm being honest, if I'm just keeping it a hundred percent real, this is just these are just my personal opinion. The, the 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 husband Carl had every right to be mad because technically he caught he like he found he saw his wife cheating on her like he left her going out and like he went out to a bar and lied like he was working okay that that's messed up he saw her cheating on him and she was planning to run away with another person and like he. I don't respect the cheating stuff. I like that's never been like my thing. So I was kind of like throw it off by the even when they got into the argument where he was trying to leave with uh Harlan and she had the gun point on, he was like, Yo, I stayed with you. Granted, that was kind of like a weird way to say it. Like I stayed with you even though something's wrong with her. like I feel like something wrong with your kid. That was like a terrible way to put it, but like he was like, Yo, I worked, I got provided. I excelled for you. So, like, for you to go do that to me, like, that was messed up. So, I, I, I'm kind of like, I ain't going to say I side with Carl, but I kind of understand where he's coming from. Like, that that kind of was messed up. You know what I'm saying? Since it just, she, I don't know. I, 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 I'm just not a big fan of that. Uh, you just, this is just a person you ran into across the street. So, if you do this with this person, how I know you wouldn't do this with somebody who actually trying to get you. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's just that big thing. Um Luther Luther was I think Luther was more funny than anything than, than, than the media season. He he didn't have just like a, a super big role. Uh I do kinda think I kinda feel like he was the glue at times. Um 
Overall, I just, like, I, like I said, I really just enjoyed the season. There are a lot of crazy things. Like I said, that Backstreet Boys scene, fight scene was amazing to me. There's uh, learning about Pogo and, 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 and all of that. I, I mean, Vanya finally get a memory back and and uh, uh, um, Ben being the one who like brings out and like, you know, I thought that scene was really good too. And like, I, Cause I knew I'm like, they not gonna be able to make it there. But I'm like, I wanna can cause project Ben to her and granted he w granted he didn't do it on purpose. I think it was more or less on Ben. I thought that was nice. And the fact that like it got some closure between Ben and Klaus because he's like, hey, I wasn't actually ready to walk into the light. I, I I thought this season was done like magnificently, dog. Like like real talk. I I think every single storyline had something to it. Um, you had number five, who's always amazing. Uh, Aiden Gallagher, who plays number five, thought he did an exceptional job. Um, overall, because he just has this, 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 this weirdness, yet assassin mentality. Like it's just all, it's all funny yet serious. Like it's definitely one of these seasons you go back and watch again. You know what I'm saying? I think I'm personally probably going to watch it again. Granted, I, I got a lot of things to catch up on before I get a chance to. But it's definitely one of those ones I want to go back and watch again to, to see the things I probably missed or, 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 or like, that slipped by me. I enjoyed the milkman, the, 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 the three Swedes who just didn't do nothing, who were just all oddballs. Um, I definitely think the one that lived at the end going to have going to play a part later on. And, and one thing I knew, playing with time travel, something's going to go bad. And so when they go back to the future and things aren't how they are, their father's still alive, and it's now the Sparrow Academy, of course. I mean, it only makes sense, right? But I do want to know, like, because I feel like I was supposed to know who that person was who showed up at the end, but I didn't. Maybe you guys know. Uh, maybe I wasn't paying attention or something. Even though I kind of feel like I was, but like who the kid was that that that, that like checked them um, at the end of season uh, at the end of the season. But overall, like I said, man, I really enjoyed this season. I think I, I preferred it. I gonna say preferred it over the first one, but I think I just I just genuinely enjoyed this one more. I think I was able to follow the story more. I think I was more invested in all the characters and all the new characters. You know what I'm saying? They came around. I think they did a good job of executing that action scenes. That like, I, and, and one of the best parts about it is like the musical selection throughout. Every single episode had some music placement that you just like you can do nothing but like bop to. You know what I'm saying? So I think I enjoyed that a lot. Great season. Uh, yeah. You guys let me know what you thought about it down in the comments. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys are staying safe out there. I'll catch up with you guys later. Peace.